She-Hulk Attorney at Law will be released on Disney Plus in just a few days. And the top writer has come out and said this. And one thing that we realized very slowly, that none of us are that adept at writing. You know, rousing trial series. Adept. Very skilled. (laughs) Or proficient at something. So you basically have come out and said, we're not good writers. We're not really good at writing like, trials or things like that but isn't the name of your show attorney at law i mean isn't this what the show is about about trials and being an attorney and all that stuff and you're just not that skilled at writing such a thing with all the history of cinema and television shows that you could pull from and add to the series you're just not good at writing that's where we are with the show well let's go back and read the whole thing so you have some context here remember this is the head or top writer talking says my pitch for the show is pretty close to the show that you're watching all the kinds of key foundational elements were there uh blonsky which is abomination was always in the pitch Bruce was always in the pitch. I didn't know if I could use them. I didn't know what their relationship was to Abomination anymore. But I thought, you know what? That is what I want, so I'll just pitch it. Thankfully, they liked all of it. When I went in, it definitely skewed a lot more heavily towards the Blonsky's trial. In my original pitch, it was an actual trial and it spanned multiple episodes. When we got into the writer's room, inevitably things changed and you're developing the show and you start writing. This is where she says, we we weren't good enough to write a trial scene. So you pitch the show, they liked the show, and then you sat down with writers, Hollywood writers, and you realized, uh, I don't think we could pull this off. So what you did was change the origin story to she needed a blood transfusion to she accidentally spilled blood on her. That's how she became the She-Hulk. Then you went on this uh, interesting marketing campaign where you opened up a Tinder account for She-Hulk. And people who are on Tinder can be matched with her. And it's just a promo for the show. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> even has pictures and everything. Then you posted a 1-800 number and you passed those cards around at different comic cons and conventions so people could call and hear a promo again. But then the big one hit where you just said, we got more cameos than we know what to do with. So instead of writing a good show, we're going to dazzle you with a uh, different style of marketing. And with cameos. The biggest cameo of them all was, of course, Daredevil. But now we know what happens to Daredevil, that we're going to get a light side. A, uh, you know, Daredevil light. Or a diet Daredevil, (laughs) if if that's what you want to call it. Where he's going to be, you know, funny, like he was in the early days of Daredevil. But here's the problem. We're used to the Daredevil, you know from Netflix and that's what a lot of people thought they were getting because you use the same actor and you're saying we're gonna get him and we're gonna put him over from Netflix and you're like you know let's just change it up from what everybody knows because let's be honest a lot of people didn't read the early comic books of Daredevil so you're gonna explore that character so that's where we are with that then after all that you decide to call up some of your buddies and say here watch the first four episodes and please tweet out tweet out the reviews like tell everybody how cool it is just just tell them um if you're not new to this channel we saw that with the star wars galactic star cruiser when they gave away all those expensive nights uh to people and they're all like oh it's wonderful here Don't worry about the money. Don't worry. (laughs) Well, let's just look at those reviews, shall we? Cue the music. Or cue the uh, different music. (laughs) This is from Molly. I've seen the first four episodes of She-Hawk, and I'm happy to report they're incredible. 
Tatiana is great as Jen, but my favorite thing is how fully entrenched She-Hulk is in the MCU, while at the same time showing us something completely new. Can't wait for more. Completely new, huh? Interesting. Rob writes, I just watched the first four episodes of She-Hulk, and it's a great follow-up to Miss Marvel. Was it Miss Marvel the least watched MCU thing on Disney Plus? Huh. Both upping the MCU quality and style on Disney Plus. Upping the quality? <laughs> the CGI is a joke. Sorry. She Hawk is the funniest Marvel Studios content so far. Oh, I'm I I bet it's going to be hilarious. Uh, I bet it's going to be hilarious. Has a refreshing take on the franchise lore and formula with its meta style. Uh, then he goes on to say, like, I'm so glad it's all about the Canadian leads. <laughs> Check out the Canadian leads, everyone. They're heading it up. Uh, Cooper Hood writes, I've seen the first four episodes of She-Hulk. I, I see a trend here. Every single tweet starts off exactly the same with the hashtag. You gotta add the hashtag. You know, I've seen the first four episodes of She-Hulk. Hashtag. Just, just saying. They did the same thing with the Galactic Star Cruiser. And thought it was delightful. It's a hilarious legal comedy. Dripping. With MCU connections. Ah, the cameos, everyone. It's the cameos that will make the film. Uh, don't forget... You gotta watch for the cameos. You never know who might show up. You never know. Um, this is funny. Tantiana is great as Jen. Kind of the exact same review before. She's very funny. And the CGI mostly looks good. Gotta throw that in, right? Gotta throw that in. Makes me excited to see more going forward. Interesting. Can't wait for more. I want to see more going forward. Sounds a little uh, interesting, right? Norma writes, "Hey, guess how she starts her tweet? The first four, the first episodes of hashtag She Hulk are exactly what I wanted them to be and more. <laughs> I love the comedy format so much. No surprise, Tatiana brings it as Jen. Sounds interesting. Her fourth wall breaks. The comedic timing." How she's nerdy one second and then she hulk the next. It's a yes for me. All sounds the same. Ah, uh, here's another one. I got to see the first four episodes of hashtag she hulk attorney law. I you guys get the you guys get where this is going, right? You guys get where this is going. And and it just goes on and on and on and on. Uh, had the pleasure of watching the first four episodes of Hashtag She-Hulk. Uh, it's a must-see. Can't wait for the rest of the season. So it's the basic formula. I got to see the first hashtag <laughs> of She-Hulk. And Tatiana has does great as Jen. And I can't wait to see what's rest. Basically, they all say the same thing. Now, all I'm saying is judge the show when it comes out. Not by what these people are saying. And judging by what the writers had to say, oh, it'll be a comedy, all right. But maybe not in the way you planned. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Excited for the show? Maybe? Interested? Or is it just going to be another bad spin on an amazing Marvel character? <laughs>